in this video i will talk about what is gradient descent algorithm this is the first uh, machine learning algorithm we will uh, we will study remember the cost function that we defined in the previous video let us consider a cost function which is a function of a number of parameters the parameters are theta 1 to theta n in case we have n number of parameters you remember uh, how do we find out the uh, regression line we find out the regression line by minimizing the cost function the question that we ask ourselves in the previous uh, video is that how do we minimize it because this is a function of uh, n parameters how do we minimize a function of n parameter mathematical that is challenging let us uh, limit it to only two parameters we can of course generalize this to any number of parameters let us start with uh, only two parameters theta naught and theta one we can start with any value i'll assign theta naught equal to zero and theta one equal to zero so we initialize these two parameters with a fixed uh, fixed values and see what is the cost function now think that whether the cost function can be further minimized or not change the values of theta naught and theta one and see how the cost function is changing and keep on doing it till we find that there is uh, no way we can decrease the cost function value although it looks very easy but actually it's not that easy because uh, it's practically impossible to keep on changing the uh, uh, theta naught and theta one values uh, for infinite uh, number of times and find out for what set of theta naught and theta one the cost function is minimum. It's very difficult. So how do we overcome this problem? How do we ensure that we don't need to try? Uh, try changing the uh, values of theta naught and theta one for infinite number of times manually and come up with an answer that for what values of theta naught and theta one the cost function takes the minimum value for that the gradient descent algorithms come comes to the rescue <coughs> we can use this algorithm to find out the values uh, in a minimum number of steps we define the algorithm like this theta j is assigned as theta j minus alpha the partial derivative with respect to theta j the cost function remember the cost function takes only two parameters it can take any number of parameters let us limit it to only two parameters now let us learn uh, start with the very first uh, you know part of the uh, equation theta j theta j can take theta 1 and theta 0 so j can take 0 and 1 okay say for example j equal to 1 now so theta 1 equal to not equal to it's assigned as so what is the difference between assigned and equal to well you have the colon and then equal to sign to understand it i have just given a example here a is assigned as a plus 1 okay so a the same variable is assigned as the value of the variable previously plus 1 if the uh, value of a was 5 previously the current value will be a plus 1 that is 6 ok so here also theta j is the previous value and this theta j left hand side theta j is the updated value or the current value or the new value of theta j it's updated it gets updated ok so um, and then minus alpha alpha is a uh, learning rate uh, learning rate uh, um, parameter which uh, keeps on changing of course 
and uh, we will know more about it and then the partial derivative with respect to the parameter if you have taken theta 1 we will take the partial derivative with respect to theta 1 of the cost function so that is the gradient uh, descent algorithm now we do it we keep on doing it till this algorithm converges so what do we mean by converges that means the value of theta j doesn't change further it remains constant at one point we keep on doing keep on doing the best part of this algorithm is that we don't have to do it for infinite period of time because the second term of the algorithm alpha and this uh, partial derivative of the cost function this second term help us minimizing the number of steps required for uh, iteration okay so, yes. so that is uh, about the gradient descent algorithm this algorithm can be used to find out the values of theta 1 and theta naught um, this algorithm is used uh, for minimizing the uh, cost function um, and we will uh, do a hands-on exercise in another uh, video wherein we will use this algorithm to find out theta naught and theta 1 or uh, we have been using beta naught and beta naught it's, it's the same we can use any names for the parameters just to give a visual uh, uh, perspective to the uh, algorithm uh, well you can see a 3d graph here and the uh, uh, you know the in the z axis you have the cost function and in the x y axis you have uh, the theta naught and theta 1 and uh, we have a plot 3d plot for the cost function uh, the we start with one point theta naught and theta 1 and see what is the uh, the cost function value and then we take a little uh, step below or upper uh, below or you know above the uh, this point and see what is the cost function if it is more then we come down okay for example from here i go to here the cost function is more than what was it previously then i come down and i found that it is it is uh, it is now less than what it was previously i further come down it becomes even even more or less and slowly 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 i take small small step to reach to this point where the cost function is minimum and at this point the corresponding value of theta naught and theta zero uh, theta naught and theta one are selected and uh, these two values are going to be the parameters are going to be the regression parameters and using which i'll draw my regression line so that's the way we use the gradient descent algorithm to find out uh, the regression line equation thank you